welcome back. As we head into part two, let's quickly play part one. That will lead us into this next session. Um, let's make sure your guitars are tuned, so do that and return to the session, please. Now here's a look of where we're going onto this uh, 12th, 10th and 12th fret relationship. So on the 5th fret we go back to that familiar fretting position where we leave the sixth string open. Get ourselves positioned, you know I'm a pinky guy. Your choice. We're gonna pluck strings five and one. Bring your thumb down on the string four. Your middle finger picks string two index and middle finger pluck strings one and two and middle finger picks string two now you're going to place your pinky on fret eight and pick once there fret eight on the first string strings five to one, thumb string four, middle finger pick string two, index and middle pluck strings one and two, middle finger picks string two, and place your pinky on the eighth fret first string, and your choice, middle, whatever, and hit that once. You could use that finger there if you wanted to. What you'll notice on this fifth fret execution is there's only really one movement and that's when you're going to put your pinky on the eighth fret. So basically the focus is going to be on your play in hand. And so once again, pluck strings five and one, thumb string four, middle finger pick string two, index and middle finger pluck, plucks uh, strings one and two, and the middle finger picks string two. And then you're going to move that pinky over to the 8th fret on the 1st string and pick it. And this is going to be a launching into the next segment. And when we move from the bar chord to fingering the strings 1 and 2 on the 10th and 12th fret, um, you can try to hop onto that location. I mean, you can slide, but if you slide, you'll get a screeching sound. I do that often myself anyways. 
So when we land on st strings 1 and 2 with a bar chord at the 10th fret, strings, string 3 will not be sounded. We're just going to pluck these three strings, 1 and 2 and 4, and then the quick little swipe on string 3 before we have to launch ourselves again into another chord shape or another bar chord shape ahead. In this sequence of notes we're going to lower the bar chord. We're going to be playing strings three, two, one, and bring your index finger, put it on the eighth fret, and be ready for a series of moves through here. That'll resemble the sound we just did from leaving the fifth fret to the tenth and twelfth uh, fret that we just left. So, get your thumb on string five, Get your index finger on string three, pluck, now move your ring finger from your fret hand onto the ninth fret, fourth string, and strike that with your thumb, release it, hit string three with your index finger, that would be fret seven, now with your middle finger, sound string 2 of the 8th fret. Thumb string 3, go sound string 3 with your thumb, which is on the 7th fret now. And middle finger will strike string 1, 7th fret. Place your pinky on the 10th fret, 1st string, and hit with your middle finger. Alright, so we got the bar chord on strings 3, 2, and 1. We're going to bang the middle finger, string number 2, fret 8. And we're going to put our thumb, string 5, index finger, string 3. Get this ring finger, fret 9, string 4. Strike it with your thumb. Release, hit string 3 with your index finger, which is fretted on number 7. Now with your middle finger, sound string 2, which is positioned on the 8th fret. And thumb string 3. Now with your middle finger, strike string 1, and place your pinky on the 10th fret, 1st string, and with your middle finger, strike once. In uh, Chet Atkins uh, original version he puts a timing to it as he feels fit and this is all interpretive. You, advanced players can certainly explore it and make it different. Um, I'm just laying down a foundation from which to, to grow from or to expand from so it would sound something like this. Um, it's an option in terms of whether you want that finger down on the second string 8th fret. Um, I tend to activate it through the process. Uh, maybe some of you guys like to have it there already. Your choice. The next sequence through that is going to have, we're going to have two slides in there. And once again, it's your interpretation, and um, I, I'm doing it this way, and any time I play it, I can change it up with whatever feels comfortable. But uh, the opening part is the same, or, or the lead up to the slides are the same as what we've just learned. string. 
strings, pluck strings three and five, ring finger to the ninth fret, fourth string, strike string three, now work that bar chord to the sixth fret and slide, bring your pinky second string 10th fret, get back to a slide position for strings 1 and 2 from fret 6 to 7, and put your middle finger on string 1, fret 8. Pluck strings 5 and 3 with your thumb and index fingers. Hit string 4, fret number 9, with your thumb or your index finger. Release. Hit string 3 with your index. Now put the bar on fret 6. Slide strings 2 and 3 to fret 7 using your index and middle finger. Put pinky on fret 10, second string, and strike it with your middle finger. Now let's focus on strings 1 and 2. Put your bar on fret 6 on strings 1 and 2. Slide to fret 7 using your index and middle fingers. And you can either hammer on or place the middle finger on the fretboard on string number one on fret eight and pluck both strings. So the next part is something we've already learned, but we're going to play it with a, a little more tempo. Then we get back to where we started on today's session for part two. And then there's a change here. Closing segment for we'll fret bar number seven in a familiar three string fretting position. Pluck strings six and three with your thumb and index. Strike open string four with your thumb. Strike string three on the, with your index on fret seven. Then put your middle finger on fret 8, string 1. Pluck with your index and middle fingers both strings, 1 and 2. Release fret 8 fingering. Pluck strings 1 and 2, now on the 7th fret, with your index and middle fingers. Slide to fret 5, holding down strings 1 and 2, and with your middle and index fingers. Pluck those two two times. Slide to fret three. Put your finger on string one of the third fret. Get your thumb on string five. And now your index and middle fingers are on strings one and two and pluck all three.
of doing this is to have your finger on the 8th fret 1st string. The opening part is the same, or the lead up to it is the same. Pluck strings 1 and 2 with the fingering on the 8th fret. Release the 8th fret. Pluck strings 1 and 2 on the 7th fret. Slide to 5. Pluck strings 1 and 2 two times. Put your finger on the 1st string, 3rd fret. Have your index fingers on those two strings, 1 and 2. Put your thumb on the 5th and open string and pluck.